Well, tell me, how did you get involved in the in the project? How did you find out? Uh, pretty classically, really. I think it's just a pretty normal story for most roles. I heard through my agent. She got me an audition for Dunkirk while I was uh, filming something else in the UK. Um, and I did about four or five auditions and just kind of went from there, yeah. Um, were you aware of this battle or you just learned when they offered you the project? No, I was aware of it. Um, we learned a bit about it at school. The World, world War II is heavy uh, in the curriculum in the UK, in uh, school. You learn about it a lot from very young. So I did know about it, I just didn't know as much detail as I do now. I think when uh, once I started the process I learned so much. So um, yeah, but I, did, I was aware of it, definitely. Mm -hmm. Do you have any relatives that went to the war and uh, would give you some like feedback? Not, the, not for, for this particular event, but... Yeah, my granddad was a soldier um, and he was he was a Marine and so he fought and I would talk to him a bit. Um, I remember hearing stories from my parents about him fighting and that kind of thing. So that was that was good to talk to him to just get a kind of sense of what it would be like for uh, a young soldier and get a real account of what it was like rather than the Hollywood version, which I think is often can be misconstrued as something heroic when often these young guys just feel pure terror. Yeah. How do you think you would do in, if you had if you had to go to a real war? Do you think you would do okay or you would be or you would try to avoid um, it at any cost? I think it's a hard thing to I think it's a hard question to answer because I don't think anyone really knows how they would respond to a situation like that until you're forced to. Um, we're lucky now in that conscription isn't around and that we are not pushed to join the army like many people were even before conscription back then. I just think it's like a subject that's quite, needs to be treated with a lot of subtlety because I think it would be easy to go, ah oh, yeah, I'd be fine in the war, but you can never really know until you're there, I think. I think you can have ideas about how you might do, but I think the reality is something very different. As an actor, you think you think you learn something every time you make a film, and if so, did you learn something about yourself that you didn't know before making this film? Yeah, you definitely learn something with every film. Every person's different, every director's different, every crew's different, um, and everyone has their own way of working, and you pick something up every time you do that. So I learned a lot in terms of acting, um, just from watching and observing and being around all the amazing actors on set, and it, it was, you know, the creme de la creme of <laughs> actors, um, you know, cinematographers and crew, Chris, obviously, whose reputation precedes him, so it was it's really just a matter of being around them and soaking it all up. Are you the type <clears> of actor that um, likes to ask for advice to actors that have more experience than you, or do you just do your thing and just observe and, and don't ask for anything? Um, no, I would ask for advice if, I, if, there was some, if there was a question in my mind, but I don't think it... I think you pick up so much just by being around them and just watching and listening and just being open and aware to what is going on around you and how they are conducting themselves. I think that that's one of the most important things. You don't have to be so overt as to put a question to them. You just, they give off advice just by doing what they do. Yeah. Um, there's, there's barely any women on the film. Yeah. Does that change the whole energy? Is it, I mean, I guess you've done films mm. with women before. Yeah. So I was wondering if the energy is different. How, how does it uh, work? Um, yeah, well, Dunkirk was my first film. So that was my first appearance was all men since I have worked on film okay. with well, women. But it, it is a very different thing. I think it is, it can be quite testosterone filled. Um, but it's great. There's, I think it's amazing, especially with the people I was working with. There's no egos. There was no egos involved at all. They're all amazing actors and so lovely and down to earth. So we really just got on and kind of clubbed together as much as possible. And yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, Great. We're done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.